It's a beautiful uh, spring morning. Now, amazingly, a few months ago this was flooded. So, where I'm panning at the moment is um, just on the other side of that road is the River Thames. And this is Runnymede. So, this is where the Magna Carta was signed. Morning. Um, and this is a quite unique place actually. This is the uh, John F. Kennedy Memorial. Um, and why it's unique is I am now entering America. This land is um, owned by the United States of America. I think it's about half an acre in size. Um, but it was given, signed over to America many years ago, I don't know when. Um, and at the top of this hill, I will stop the video in a second because this is boring, uh, at the top of the hill is the memorial itself. Now, the River Thames is uh, just down there, so this is Ronnie Mead. So this is, uh, as it says on the notice now, this is, is an acre of land. And this is the John F. Kennedy Memorial. So it's a large uh, rectangular plinth. And it's given to the United States of America by the people of Britain in memory of John F. K. I do like the fact um, I like they've corrected it to put his birthday on there. And a few hundred metres that way, through the trees, is the uh, official Ronnie Mead Memorial uh, to the Magna Carta, which I'll go to in a minute. I'm just leaving the, uh, the memorial. And I thought, I had a thought, if a crime is committed in here, so on American soil, whose jurisdiction is it? So do the British police investigate or do American police investigate? Well, I assume it's the British police, but um, I don't know, interesting question. Anyway, let's go on to the uh, Magna Carta Memorial over here. Okay, between the JFK Memorial and the uh, Runnymede Memorial is this tree, oak tree. Um, there's a plaque from the National Trust at its base, which I just want to go and zoom in on. So the uh, this oak tree planted with soil from Jamestown, Virginia, the first permanent English settlement in the New World, commemorates the bicentenary of the Constitution of the United States of America. It stands in acknowledgement that the ideals of liberty and justice embodied in the Constitution trace their lineage through the institutions of English law to the Magna Carta, sealed at Runnymede, on the 15th of June, 1215. This is planted on December the 2nd, 1987, by John O. Marsh, Jr., Secretary of the Army of the United States. So let's go back again. So this is a... It's not a very big oak tree, considering how old it is. But, um... So that's right beside the um, Magna Carta Memorial. This is um, just again a general summary of Ronnie Mead. So in that direction is the John F. K. Memorial and the commemorative tree. If you come back here, this is the Magna Carta Memorial. Just to zoom in, have a better look. It's a beautiful location here.
So this is the uh, Magna Carta Memorial. Actually uh, installed by Americans. Um, partly, I, I assume, because the Constitution is based um, on the Magna Carta and the freedoms in it. So it's just a simple, uh, what's the word, is it a pagoda? There's a column in the middle. And it's some beautiful grounds by the River Thames. Uh, this is the memorial up close. Um, there's a inscription on the bottom. The memorial was dedicated on the 28th of July 1957. And the column in the middle says, To commemorate Magna Carta, symbol under freedom, sorry, symbol of freedom under law. Uh, this is the memorial up close. Um, there's various plaques on the ground about when the American Bar Association returned to the place, to this place, to renew its pledge of adherence to the principles of the Great Charter. And this is the uh, central column to commemorate Magna Carta, symbol of freedom under law. And then looking back the other way. So this is the view back towards the Thames. Uh, this is the view from the back. Uh, yeah, shame about the road, otherwise this um, is a beautiful location.